Alright guys, so hello and welcome back to Pop Goes. Or I'm sorry. Welcome back to Weaselware. Wet wet welcome. Come come bad bad back. Two 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 weed weed weasel. So where where? Um at at as you can see, I have four stars. I'm guessing there's a fifth star. Um the things I've unlocked, let's take a look here. Um, pretty much everything. Uh, all the characters, as you can see, Strings is unlocked, Simon is unlocked, Lux Animatronics, Gemstone, and finally Gravestone, uh, which shows a, um, a gravestone. <laughs> now I get it, because it's an actual gravestone. Ha ha ha. So, yeah, this shows the gravestone of Jeremy Fitzgerald, um, but the funny part is, Jeremy Fitzgerald is a different character from Fritz um, in the original Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's 2, when you played the sixth night, you played as Fritz. Uh, his name was Fritz Smith. Um, but Jeremy Fitzgerald is the person that you played as in the first Five Nights of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So the, the lore um, is a little bit iffy, I guess. Like, on night five, you play Friday night... Anyway, uh, this isn't a lore video. I'm not going to talk about the lore. But anyway, I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay. Um, by the way, like th this game is fantastic. I I've talked about it in a previous video. How amazing this game is! They included all like the the Easter eggs and like the Easter eggs that didn't come didn't make it into the game. And um, this scary picture. I don't know what that's for, but you know all the concepts that they scrapped and everything. And, development, and all this cool stuff that you unlock after playing the game. Um, but the things that I just unlocked recently is Simon, which happens when you get the bad ending, I guess. Well, it's, it's not really the bad, it's like the um, true ending, I guess. When you um, find all the... Uh, there's things that you have to do. I won't spoil it for you, but um, uh, I'll give you a little hint. You have to look at your death screens. When you die... Um, depending on which death screen you are su subjected to is uh, it pertains to a night and you'll just take a look at the death screen and you'll see like there's some text that you have to look at at the on the death screen you should take if you play this game on Steam I, I actually play this game um, on Steam you can actually uh, if you didn't know this you can um, you can play a game that's not on Steam through the Steam interface so that you can use the Steam's, uh, you know, um, browser and, like, you can take uh, screenshots with F12 and stuff like that. And that's how I actually took screenshots of the death screens. Um, and I took notes and everything. And I was able to get the secret ending, uh, which, is, I mean, it's fantastic. The game is amazing, and they really put a lot of thought into it and effort. And here's the credits, just to show you guys. Uh, who's the main guy? Where's the main guy? Oh yeah, Kane Carter. I guess his name's Poppy. He calls himself Poppy. He's, he was only 18 when he made this, and it's just fan. It's amazing. Like the guy's a a, a, a hero to to game developers around the world. I'm assuming, because I mean, really, he put all this together, and I mean, he had a lot of help with, you know. And this guy's only 15. He's a 2D artist. It's amazing. Like, these guys really um, know what's up. But anyway, five stars are, are available, I believe. So, here's what I need to unlock so far. I've already beat Impossible, the original Impossible, okay? Um, so, after beating Impossible, you are able to use cheats and challenges. Uh, these are incredibly difficult. Um, if you th thought Impossible was already impossible, um, playing this game with these challenges, and especially Zoof, Zoof. these two are actually the, the worst of, of the bunch. Endless is not as hard because it doesn't really make the game harder, it just makes the game longer. You have to just survive a little bit longer. Um, now, with these challenges, you can't activate two at the same time. You can only activate one. So, pretty much you have to beat the game three or six times. You have to beat the game a lot of times. Like, really, the custom night screen gives you a lot of uh, replayability. Um, you get a trophy every time you beat one of these modes. 
and then up here you can see the foam wallpapers. Uh, you unlock these as you play uh, difficult and impossible using these challenges. So as you can see, I beat the game on difficult with all three challenges, and I unlocked each one of these. Now, um, red is useless in my opinion because it blends in with the uh, the heat sensor here. So like you never know when like the heat uh, when you turn on the heat in the vents. Um, it, it, it's it's hard to read sometimes because like the the heat sensor is also red. So I don't recommend using this one, but uh, you can use these two and Weasel Tech, which is a cool. <laughs> it even says Weasel Tech down here. It's pretty neat. Um, so I'm gonna use Weasel Tech today, um, and we're gonna do Impossible, and we're gonna try Zoophobia. Uh, faulty equipment is also incredibly difficult. Um, Zoophobia is almost uh, impossible. I mean, you have to play it a, a different way um, using Zoophobia because your panic will rise so quickly if you have the camera on any of the animatronics. Um, it's very panic inducing, um, but it is skill based and you can't misclick. Uh, if you get stone, if stone looks at you, you are in deep, deep crap. Uh, you have to play at your best. So we're gonna try this. Um, why don't I do this for you guys? I'm gonna show you the radar, okay? I'm gonna show you how the radar works. You can actually have all three cheats available. Uh, now, calm down for me is nice. Full panic will not kill you, but it is. It, there's it's sort of buggy. Uh, the reason why it's buggy is if um, if Blake shuts off your power, you are just frozen there. Uh, you're pretty much you, you have to stare at the uh, screen because you know panic will never. Also, if you if you get your phone taken away, full panic won't kill you. So pretty much you have to just sit there. I don't know how you die. You just have to sit there and wait till Black Rabbit kills you. So I mean, it's it's terrible. So I never really turn this on. Um, it's just good to to practice, uh, you know, taking down panic uh, and like you know switching to yeah. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you guys how this works. So let's go back. All right. So impossible. Let's play. This, is, I mean, it's so cool. I mean, I've been really having a lot of fun with this game. Um, more fun than really, more fun than Five Nights at Freddy's, in my opinion. Uh, it's just the the um, the game is so much fun. It's just like a fun game to play. And you really have to be on top of your game. So we've unlocked everything. All we need to do is complete. Oh, why is there lag? I do not like that. Oh, well, it's you could. I guess we could still play. So, as you can see, um, Stone the Crow is incredibly annoying in this mode. He shows his face way too much, in my opinion. Alright, so we got that. We don't really have to worry about putting heat on the vents yet. Ooh. Wow, and as you can see, panic just rises so quickly. So it's actually good to have the um, the camera on the room that you have to queue up. You can go into camera four, and you can you can if you're good, you can tell where Pop Goes is going to be. Ooh, we have to take a look here. See the the panic when you're when you're doing Blake, the panic just rises so quickly, and. Uh, it's inc oh see these guys already moved so all right ooh and they're already in uh, camera one see as you can see we're almost dead already you have to do that so quickly because while you're looking at Blake ooh we we picked the wrong one we're gonna get a black rabbit uh, piece. Uh, while you're looking at Blake um, and finicking around with the stuff, even when you're looking at Stone the Crow, and you can't really control Stone the Crow. Now that's, you know, that's what's difficult about it, is you can't con- Oh, they moved already. Okay. When Stone- when you're looking at Stone the Crow- when you're looking at any animatronics- Whoa, whoa. 
your panic just skyrockets with zoophobia. Skyrockets. Um, so you have to be incredibly quick. If you thought you had to be quick with, uh, uh, with impossible, this is getting even more impossible. See, as you can see, we're just pressing the button. The w one thing that you can keep in mind is that uh, when you do press the uh, the Blake button, when you do press the Blake button, your panic actually decreases a little bit. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I think they're up. Th yeah. So I'm already dead, pretty much. I'll just wait until they steal my phone. Yep, there you go. <laughs> yeah, like I said, you really have to be on top of your game. I don't know why it's lagging, uh, like I'm getting bad uh, frames per second. Now that, I'll just give you a hint, that's the Pop Goes um, kill screen. And as you can see, there's some text up here, 212S. You're going to have to figure out what that means. And there, I think there was Cam 4 or something like that. But yeah, you're going to have to figure out what that means and what that means for you. You can actually take a look at Dalko's stream. Uh, if you're into this pop goes thing, uh, you can search um, solving pop goes on uh, YouTube, and you could probably find a live stream that kind of uh, gives you uh, more hints about uh, getting the secret ending. But um, it's all in the in the death screens. They they give you all the hints. So we're gonna try that again with no cheats, and. We're just going to see how we do. Um, I'm going to tab out just a quick second. Um, if I don't edit this out, I'm sorry. I'm going to see if I can um, you know, increase the uh, frame rate just a tad. All right, so here we go. I don't know if that made a difference or not, but we'll see. So anyway, you cannot misclick in this mode. You cannot. Um, later, I'll also show you faulty equipment. Faulty equipment is even faster paced. Um, the advantage of faulty equipment is your panic doesn't skyrocket like it does with uh, Zoophobia, but uh, you will find yourself cursing Stone the Crow's name so many times because often, very, very often, Stone the Crow will be in your way and you won't be able to find out where Pop Goes is. Um, you have to kind of switch from... Uh, Cam 4 out into whatever room you have to be in. See, as you can see, his position was for Cam 2, so I have my thing on Cam 2. And you can even preemptively... See, this is what I learned. You can preemptively uh, press uh, shut down room before he enters. You don't have to wait till he enters, per se. Uh, you can wait till just before he enters if you want, or... It doesn't have to be right when he enters. Uh, you, can, you can press it a little bit before... Oh, uh, see, Blake kind of screws things up. Oh, I pressed the wrong button, and you know what? I'm going to take this death here because I missed the Blake button, and I pressed this... I don't know how I pressed this arrow. It's all the way over there. We're going to be eaten by tacos. Yep, okay. Skip this. Skip this. Please skip this. Skip, 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 skip. Thank you. But get used to the death screen because you're going to see it a lot in this mode. Um, maybe we'll try the blue. Why not? Okay, go back to Zoophobia. Impossible. Ooh, good night. Good night is right because you are just not going to have a good time. I mean, it is a good time. It's fun. Like, that's the thing. It, com it makes you come back. It gives you a chance to control your outcome. And that's, like I said in the last video, it's very skill-based. This game is incredibly skill-based. It is a little bit luck-based when uh, Stone the Crow looks at you the wrong way, you know, and you kind of want to slap him in the face. Look at that. I mean, he messes you up. He messes up your flow. And that's, you know, that's why he's here. That's why... Um, Kane put that uh, mechanic in the game is to mess up your flow, you know? So we're on cam 3, shut down. As, you, as we can see, he's already lined up for cam 3 again, so we could just kind of keep our eye on cam 3 
And there you go, he entered. Um, let's just take a look real quick. He's on cam 5, so let's go to cam 5. Meanwhile, we have to make sure we're hitting that. Okay, we have to be really quick. Ooh, that, that wasn't quick enough, really. Um, we have to look at camera 4. Okay, where is he? Okay, cam he's at camera 5. Um, there we go. There we go. Oh, whoa, that was quick. Cam 4, let's take a look where he is. Alright, he's at cam 6. Let's let panic go down a little bit. Whoa, okay. Blake is already... Whoa, look at our panic. See, our panic just skyrockets. We have to take a look at the vent. Oh, they already moved. Oh, oh my god. Ah, I think we're screwed. Okay. Uh, vent. Oh, uh, yep, we're screwed. See, you have to... And that drum scare was really quick. Which I kind of appreciate because... <laughs> It's good to get multiple attempts uh, in one video. But yeah, as you can see, that's kind of the strategy there, uh, is to line up, for zoo especially for Zoophobia, you have to line up. Like, we ran into a bad luck uh, situation there, but um, that's sort of the uh, strategy there that I just showed you. Blue, and play. <clears throat> you want to line up uh, very quickly looking cam 4, because... The longer you look at Cam 4, when Pop Goes is in Cam 4, the longer you look in there, the more panic you're going to induce onto yourself. So just very quickly look in Cam 4 and look where Pop Goes is going to enter, and then just uh, queue up, as I say, queue up the uh, particular camera that he's going to enter. I like to get into the... the um, I'd like to get into the, the rhythm of uh, keeping the vents heated, uh, no matter what. It's harder in um, faulty equipment mode, because vents don't stay heated very long. Alright, so as you can see, we already got cam 6. We're just going to wait a little bit. Oh, there he is. Okay. Cam 4. Okay, he's in cam one. He's gonna go to cam one. Oh crap. Oh crap, we're screwed. This I mean, this is a bad start for us. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. <laughs> I made a mistake there by uh my mistake there was that I didn't Actually I didn't really um expect Blake to be in uh to be active, like, right straight away, but sometimes that happens on these custom nights. Um, you really have to guess whether or not, or, not guess, I mean, you can't really guess, but, uh, there's a chance that Blake will be active quicker than usual. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, sometimes it doesn't. You'll notice that in the main game, um, what's really, really interesting is in Night 5 in particular, um, you want to take a look, and for me, I mean, other people might have a different uh, outcome or a different, uh, you know, a different outcome. Uh, but in night five, you want to pay attention to Pop Goes and his position, and you might be able to see he stays in Cam Four while the uh, Fritz is, is saying his very heartfelt uh, speech in. Um, the uh, phone message there for cam for uh, night five it's very very heartfelt I mean it's it's amazing I mean the the, the writers whoever wrote the uh, the phone calls is a great writer you know you gotta say you gotta give credit where credits due um, and I should panic because I don't know where pop goes oh yeah there he is but um, while he's reading the night five phone call um, it's interesting, Paco's kind of just stands there for a very long time, and it's almost like Paco's is listening in and, you know, kind of giving you a chance to, like, listen. I don't know if it's lore-based or what, but, uh, it's interesting. But anyway, sometimes that happens. It's very, very random. Oh god, oh god. We have to look at Cam 4, we're already behind. And we are screwed. I think we're going to lose our first... Yeah. Um, I don't know. He might be in cam one. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think we picked the wrong one. Okay. Sometimes stone... Like, you don't have 
any time to dilly dally. Um, and I think that the uh, ooh, we might be screwed. Okay. I just want to take a look here and make sure that we're not screwed. Wow, panic, 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 panic. Where are the sisters? I don't know where the sisters are. They might be in Cam 7 already. They are in Cam 7 already! Oh, man, they moved quick. Um, yeah, the, our, this attempt uh, seems to be quite... Uh, ooh, I cannot believe they're in Cam 7 already. That's insane. They moved incredibly quickly. Uh, ooh. Whoa. Okay, we got... Oh, we just missed. The panic just goes up way too quickly. It might be because of the lag that I'm, I'm experiencing. I don't know if I have to... Maybe I just have to restart my computer. I'm not sure. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, I'm going to try to click, but you can't click. You're dead. I'm dead. Pretty much. I'm dead. I just have to wait until they kill me. Alright, this is taking forever. Thank you! Alright. Kind of looks like she gives you a hug, which is kind of funny. But yeah, that's, um, that's really, um what it is. I mean, we'll do one more attempt. It's just so much fun. Uh, I, I have gotten very, very close. There is a strategy that you can do. Um, it's hard to have all... Because there's three elements, okay? There's three elements to the game that can kill you. Or, I'm sorry, there's four. Okay, there's panic. Right? There's That's one. When panic gets to max, you're, you're toast. Uh... The second element is Pop Goes himself, which is actually the lowest priority. Pop Goes is the lowest priority. Okay. Pop Goes will try to build Black Rabbit no matter what. Find out why. Now, that, that's one thing I kind of have to figure out myself. I think he's... I think it's just Fritz... Um, but anyway, I'm going to try not to, to dibble dabble. But Pop Goes, as far as the priority list of who to uh, make sure um, who to stop first. Pop goes as lowest on the list. The reason why is because you have five chances, um, or five screw-up chances, right? Like, if you screw up the, the rhythm somehow, Pop goes won't instantly kill you. You have five, five chances. Um, the two that will instantly kill you, well, I guess three, is the sisters, Saffron and Sarah, they will kill you once you, they get to cam 7 and then they get to the vent above you. They will just take your phone and you're screwed. Um, the other is Blake, that when the power runs out on, on your computer, you're screwed. So these two are the main ones to, to um, keep at bay. So if you have to let Pop Goes be and let him take one of the pieces of uh, the Black Rabbit, go ahead and do so, because that won't kill you um, right away. Okay, so priority list is first Blake. Blake is the priority, then the Saffron sisters, Saffron and Sarah, and then Pop goes, okay? And then maybe Simon. No, I'm just kidding. Simon is behind the scenes. He, uh, well at the end, he, he kind of, um, it, the whole, like, brain concept, like the minigame map here. The minigame is shaped like a brain. It's, you know, uh, repressed memories, I guess, of Fritz. Like, you're inside Fritz's brain. That's what I think. But, um, I don't know what the significance is when you do obey Simon. Um, because when you obey Simon, it'll show the minigame, and it'll almost be, like, opposite. Like, you'll be walking from here into here, or like, from here into here, or something like that. Um, because I know on night six, you walk from this area here, all the way down to here, and then you kill Fritz, apparently. Like, 
when you when you obey Simon, you kill the animatronics in here. You don't just go close to them. And I don't know what the significance of that is. Like, I don't know why you're killing them. Or what it's actually doing in, in real life. Whether you're just killing the memory or you're killing ab actual Fritz. Apparently, the second ending, as Kane calls it, you, you, you help Simon kill Fritz. Now, I don't know exactly how, but I know that it happens. You, at the end, Simon kills Fritz, uh, because it says right here, Simon's, or he was chained to a wall for most of his life before killing his creator in anger. His creator was Fritz. Fritz created Simon. I wish they had a um, Fritz, you know, um, character profile, because he's a character in this story. And the Lux, I don't know what the Lux animatronics significance is, like why they glow and all that, that stuff, you know. I'm not sure why. Uh, find the truth. I wish I could, you know. But it's really interesting. Um, maybe I'll do more research online and see if Kane has given more hints out on, like, but I do know the minigame is shaped like a brain for a reason. Um, and uh, I know why Bonnie is here, because, it, th I mean, this is the frontal lobe, okay? And this is where, this is the part of the brain that's in the lore all the time. The frontal lobe, frontal lobe. You, you got his frontal lobe bitten by Bonnie, apparently. So, but the... Uh, the mini games change significantly when you follow Simon, when you find all the secret uh, Simon locations and in, in the uh, nights. So, you know, so that's that. But anyway, apparently there's two endings to this game, and one is uh, Fritz lives, and the second one is Fritz dies. So figure that out for yourselves. We will try impossible. One more time, I know this this uh, video is getting a little long, but we're going to try Impossible with faulty equipment, and we'll just see how we do. And we're probably going to fail miserably, because actually, this mode is... I mean, if you thought Impossible was impossible, using one of these is incredibly, incredibly difficult. Um... Faulty equipment makes it so that the room shutdowns are much quicker, um, don't last as long, and that gives Popgo's a, a chance to. What am I trying to say here? Popgo's is able to enter a room much quicker. Um, where is he? Cam 2. Yeah. As you can see, he's gonna enter camp cam one like right right away. Or I thought he would. Yeah, there he is. I think we might have missed the sisters already. No. Maybe not. Okay. He's already in another room. See? He's already in another room. That's how quick it is. Uh I I missed him. I missed him already. And with Stone the Crow. Oh, oh, there they are. Okay, so we got the sisters. We have Blake. We lost one piece of the uh, Black Rabbit, so it's not catastrophic, but it's not a great start to the to the night. Um, where is he? He's gonna go into Cam Two. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. We got it. Okay, good. Oh, Christ. See, that's the thing. I am not fast enough right now. I'm not. I'm just not fast enough for uh, faulty equipment. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, they moved. Okay. They're right there. We already lost Popgo's, um, which is... Uh, oops. Ooh, they moved already. I was not expecting that. They moved from, uh... Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got them in front. Ooh. 
All right, he's in cam five, or he's going to be in cam five. So we can preemptively hit cam five. Um, go away, Stone the Crow, please. Oh, there he is. Stop it. All right, they probably, mo oh no, they didn't. Okay, good. Uh, I think I saw Pop goes in cam three. And I hope that was right. Yes. So that was right, and we can hit cam three again because um, that's what's cool about. Oh, bot. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know if we got the right room for Pop Goes. I think we might have failed. Ooh, oh. Yeah, we're not doing so well. I think we already let him have. Uh, like, yeah, he already has another piece. Ooh. Okay. But we do have the sisters, and uh, Blake is there. Okay. I kind of figured that. Okay. Sisters. See? Faulty equipment, the um, the heat, the uh, room shutdowns, they don't last very long at all. And uh, see, it's already done. Okay. So cam three, he's going to enter. There he is. Cam three. Uh... Cam three, there we go. There's a strategy you can use. Um, f oh my. Okay, okay. Is you can get both. Oh. You can get both the sisters and Pop goes to enter the same uh, room over and over again, and that way you can just concentrate on one room. And uh, I think I think yeah I think we screwed up there. Oh, okay. And that if you if you're able to get into a rhythm like that, it's hard for me to do that and talk at the same time. So, ooh, Blake is already there. Okay, good. Whoa, whoa. Okay. We have to get them. Okay. Uh, we have to find Pop goes because he is nowhere to be found. And there he is. Okay. He's a, okay, he's right there. Good. Okay. Get them. Good. Alright, so we're not doing too bad. Oh, the, Pop goes Zarian. Yeah, he's... See, I think he has four... Wow. He has four... Uh, oh, red. Oh, get it! Yes! We got it. Okay. Um, they're probably already... Yeah, they're there already. Okay. Let's get Pop goes... I think he was in. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> I died. Mm. So, there. That's it. Um, I'm not going to do any more attempts, but that is just a showcase of how difficult it gets. Um, it's still a lot of fun, but yeah, it's crazy hard, and you have to be really quick. Um, you can practice using radar and common sense if you want. I would not recommend using Calm Down for me at all, because it can just make your game freeze. It Not freeze, but you can just get stuck, and so you have to, you have to just... Um, leave the game and press escape but anyway that's it for now guys um one more thing to mention is the or i guess i mentioned it already the um the strategy if you let pop goes get three or i'm sorry four pieces of the black rabbit um that will enable him to only go into one room see if he has four pieces of the black rabbit uh, I think that might be a major flaw in, in Kane's, in this game here, is that each piece of the Black Rabbit is specific to one room. So, say if it's the head, or if it's the, um, the left arm, or the right arm, or the torso, Pop Goes can only print it out in one particular room. Now... If they implemented a, say, a patch or an extra challenge where um, Pop goes, like, say, if the printers are connected through a network and uh, 
it doesn't... Like, if they made it so that it does not matter what room Popkos has to go in, that would up the difficulty exponentially because you will still have to make sure that you're picking the right room. So, like, if he's only going into one room, you can just kind of, like, keep your eye on that room and it's kind of easy peasy, but if it's still random, even if they, even if Popkos uh, picked um, four of the five pieces, if it's still random which uh, room he goes into, uh, that will up the difficulty by a lot. Now, will do I want that? Not particularly, because it's already difficult. It's difficult already. I mean, it's it's already like incredibly difficult, even when you're using that uh, specific, you know, strategy. When you let him get four, I don't let him get any really. Like I, it just. Sometimes it happens, and it's just, you know, it's hard to keep all three at the same... But Pop Goes, like I said, is the lowest priority out of all three of those um, elements. So, Kane, if you're watching this video, uh, if you want to implement that as an extra challenge, so that even if uh, he has four of the five pieces, it's still random what room he goes into, um, I, would I would really actually enjoy that. Uh, as a challenge, and maybe like an extra, if you can implement an extra uh, reward to beating um, Impossible with that, that mode, that'd be pretty cool, but um, I, I would not want it as like, yeah, you, I, I guess you could call the challenge like network connected, or um, printer, you know, uh, printer network, or something, something like that, so that the printers, I mean, I guess in the lore, uh, the printers have to be connected to a network somehow, I would think. Um, it's just funny how uh, each printer is specific to one... Uh, I guess Fritz made it that way, because Fritz uh, programmed Popcos to do all this stuff. Ooh, that, that's a spoiler, by the way. Uh, Fritz, Fritz is at fault for all of this. And you're not playing as a, as a human, by the way. But anyway... That's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and thanks again. Um, stay tuned for another Pop Goes video or whatever I choose to make. All right, take care.